everybody, Bertha Zardrell here. So I am going to run you through how to properly perform a dental sealant. So you are gonna need a few things to get started. You're going to need a curing light that has a barrier on it, in addition to a orange shielding um, protector. You will also need a toothbrush. This is going to help clean the occlusal surface of the patient's teeth to get rid of any debris. You will need a dental mirror. You will need a Shepherd Tuck Explorer. You will need your sealant material. You will need your phosphoric etch material. And then some sort of isolation. So I'm going to use a combination of cotton rolls and a triangle to obtain a fairly dry surface for my patient. So, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick peek at the occlusal surface of his teeth. Open. We are gonna be placing a sealant on number 30. As you can see, the patient has a little bit of debris that's located in the occlusal grooves. And this is going to be an important reason as to why we do a sealant. When patients get food debris stuck inside the pits and the grooves of the teeth, when it's left for long periods of time, it's going to start demineralize and start to form pit and fissure cavities. If we can prevent these pit and fissure cavities, hopefully we can lower the incidence of cavitation in the mouth. So the first thing we need to do is we need to clean up these occlusal surfaces. I'm going to use a combination of water and suction to start to rinse off just these buckle surfaces to see what initial debris I can remove. So I'm gonna grab my air water syringe and I'm gonna grab my suction. And I'm gonna retract with my suction. And I'm gonna start to clean some of this debris. And now what we need to do is we need to properly clean off the occlusal surfaces. So you can do that one of two ways. The first way to clean it off would be to use your polisher. There is a contra angle that looks like a small Christmas tree that you can use with some pumice and it has to be plain pumice. You don't want fluoride or the essential oils from toothpaste interfering with the bond adhesion of your sealant. So you'd plain pumice the occlusal surfaces, maybe the buccal and the lingual pits of the teeth. Because I don't have a contra angle, I'm just going to use a plain toothbrush and I'm just going to wipe off the tooth um, and get that really, really cleaned out before we place the etch onto the tooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Go ahead and open for me. So we're going to brush the patient's occlusal surfaces of the teeth with medium to firm pressure to really make sure that we don't relieve any remaining substance in those pits and those grooves. Once we feel like we've gotten everything, we're gonna go ahead one more time with our water and our suction, and we're going to rinse those surfaces off. surfaces of the teeth are nice and clean. So I'm just going to look from all sides of the teeth, just making sure we don't have any more food particle or debris. And it looks nice and clean. So let me put a little bit of air on that tooth. And that is a wonderfully clean occlusal surface that is going to be ready for a gorgeous sealant. 
The first step we're going to do is to isolate before we etch. So I'm going to retract the soft tissues and place a cotton roll deep within the vestibule of the cheek. I'm also going to place a cotton roll next to the tongue. And go ahead and open for me. We're gonna reposition if we need to, to make sure that that tongue stays away. So first things first, we are going to apply a generous amount of etch onto the tooth surface. We're gonna try to leave this etch onto the tooth surface for about 20 to 30 seconds, depending on the manufacturer's instructions. For us, we're going to be going about 20 seconds. So you can go ahead and end it. So when you're close to 20 seconds, you're going to want to grab your suction. And I try to put that into my thumb here. And I also try to grab my air water syringe. And what I do is I use my air water syringe to hold my cotton roll in place. And I gently come across I push down on one end of the cotton roll to lift it up, and I use the cotton roll to push the tongue away. And what we do is we rinse off as much of it as we can onto the suction. You wanna make sure that you rinse off the patient's tongue and around their lip and their teeth because this stuff is really, really sharp. And don't be afraid to use a little air and water at the same time. You're going to want to remove this other cotton roll as well. And give the patient a little bit more water once you get that cotton roll out. So now that we've etched the patient's tooth, we're going to isolate one more time. So I like to use a combination of a dry angle and cotton rolls. So we're gonna go ahead and place our dry angle. Now what you do is you take it, you insert it at an angle. So you're going to want to take that pointy part and put it towards the back of the patient's throat. You're going to want to wrap it around the maxillary buckles of that patient and just go ahead and give it a little squeeze in place. And then I'm going to place a cotton roll. And then go ahead and relax your tongue a little bit for me if you can. Yep, there you go. Good. I'm going to place one more cotton roll. Beautiful isolation. We're going to go ahead and dry this tooth off. Now, when you dry off a tooth that's been properly etched, it is going to have that chalky, chalky white appearance. Once you have that chalky appearance, you're going to grab your sealant. You take a little bit and you milk it onto the patient's bib or onto your tray. And you start to apply the sealant into the pits and the grooves of your teeth. Now this sealant is actually coming out all on its own. I have my thumb on the syringe, but I'm not even using pressure to take any out because it's just coming out right on its own. We're gonna make sure we get this into all of the pits and the grooves of the teeth best that we can and once we've got it covered we are going to grab our curing light and we are going to cure for a minimum of 20 seconds Start after 20 seconds you're going to remove the curing light and you're going to use your mirror and explorer to test the sealant and make sure it has some retention. 
you're gonna go along the edges of the tube and try to lift off that sealant. You're looking for any voids, any bubbles, any missed areas of tooth structure. You're gonna use your mirror to evaluate all ends of the tooth. Once you've determined that it's a good sealant, you can remove your cotton roll. Now, do not remove your dry angle without using a little bit of water. What I do is I place my suction right next to the patient's teeth and I just apply a little bit of water while running my air water syringe right underneath. And it seems pretty loose. I just take that and gently try it out my finger. Give the patient a little water. And this is going to be our finished product. Okay.